took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. Jacob's body has disappeared. Eaten by animals or by Ben Stoughton's maggots. Should have buried him. Let's get out of this shite hole. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint.
That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here, neither, far as I can see. Ready and waiting. Ask for help if you need it. See? Anything useful? Watch out. Spectre position. Piss off. What do you see? Anything useful? It's like this spectral nest is just waiting for my intervention. Reveal your true self. This isn't over yet. Think you could take on a ghost? Get out of there! Uh. 
I... Can I join in too? This on for Never mind. I'll do this myself. I... They brought more friends. Standing by. I join in too? It's nice here and all, but do you see a way up? Just me, you. I felt it too.
There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Here. That's high. Trust me. Yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. Side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. <sighs> Something's there. Something alive. Yes.
Froden. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water and the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. Do you try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you? In that case, Banish, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. <laughs> A bone worker. It's shite. <laughs>
This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. Right here, you know. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the Banisher. Edith Keen. Miss Keen, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. 
No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking, and I don't want one neither. I have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him! Ha! What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yeah, of course. I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty. Huh? Aye. Only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be f Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye. We're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories. Likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. I was wondering, what brought you to the new world? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. McCraith, but I'm behind on my chores. Even the poor farmer must... Goodbye. Aye. Try not... Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. 
There's naught to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bother. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it, but you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams. Aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too. And those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston. As we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? I must ask you about... Ask? Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays, while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? 
<laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. So you want a map? You're new. Good day to you too. Red McCraith, madam. At your service. You're a long way from Scotland. Lost, are you? Well, more than the rest of you. Kate Newsmith asked me to make the rounds. As a banisher, I may be of use. A banisher, is it? I tend the living in the Lord's name and leave the dead to him. You do well to do the same. We all serve as best we can. Ideal death to the dead so the living can heal. I don't take advantage of people's grief. I believe in helping others in this world. Leave heaven and hell to their masters. Now, do excuse me. Unlike some, I have work to do. I didn't catch your name. Doctor? You'll not let the governor hear you call me a doctor. Mistress will do. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher. May I ask, Mistress Fitcher, how you became a doctor? I'm no doctor, and you must stop calling me that. My father was a doctor. I took an interest in his work. He encouraged this. God, he said, will work through any hands willing to be of service. And besides, he needed the help. Arthritis, you see. My father was unusual as a doctor, for his patients tended not to die. Folk trusted him, and though they knew me as a midwife, they trusted me too. When he died, his patients became my patients. And you? Whose footsteps did you follow in becoming a banisher? A dear friend. To him I'll be forever grateful for. Through him I met the love of my life. I'm so tempted to appear to her right now. So tempted. Let's talk of something else. The world about us, for example. The world about us is the new Smith sisters' purview. I'm content to worry only about the patient in front of me. 
I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher, if you let him. Slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. There. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze. 